IP-type solar products may be phased out by 2026 as N-type tech rapidly expands. Analysis and data by Taiwan-based industry analysts trend force show that the superior conversion efficiencies of N-type cells have led to rapidly expanded capabilities in 2022 and primed the market for competition. This has led trend force analysts to believe P-type perk capacities could be phased out by 2025. Currently, perk cell technology for producing P-type cells stands as the market's mainstay, the report said. However, with a step-by-step -step realization of large-scale N-type cell capacities, there looms a risk that a substantial part of perk cell technology capacities may be phased out within the forthcoming two to three years. Analysis suggests that as N-type silicon incrementally comes online there might be a sporadic shortage of high-quality silicon materials and wafers fit for N-type cells. This could further establish a noticeable price disparity between N-type silicon wafers, and their P-type counterparts, the report said, which may lead to a noticeable price difference between the two technologies. Polysilicon supply poses its own problems. Although supply remains abundant, Trend Force warned that if production continues to search for N-type cells there could be an oversupply of P-type silicon causing its price to drop faster. Trend Force predicts supply could reach 68.8% capacity by the end of 2023 and 40.3% capacity by the end of 2025. By 2023's end, it is projected that the total production capacity of polysilicon will reach 2.072 million mount, the report said. The actual output of silicon materials is expected to be 1.483 million mount, sufficient to support over 600 gigawatts of solar panel consumption. This aligns with an annual installation demand of approximately 370 to 390 gigawatts, indicating a clear oversupply of silicon. Trend Force said demand and limited output may lead to periodic shortages of N-type silicon, which would level out prices. Silicon wafer production capacity is expected to reach roughly 921.6 gigawatts by the end of the year, the report said, with silicon wafer manufacturers reacting to the N-type cell scramble by rapidly transforming operations and scaling up output. This may once again impact P-type cells. With the inclusion of rectangular silicon wafers occupying a portion of this capacity, certain dimensions of P-type wafers might experience short-term supply shortages, potentially failing to meet immediate demands, Trend Force said. If the N-type cell rollout falls short of expectations, there remains a risk of N-type wafer oversupply. But as N-cell capacity deployment experiences delays, PerkTech will most likely remain the victorious technology for 2023, the report said. Total wafer capacity primarily attributed to N-type Topcon cell technology is expected to reach 1,172 gigawatts by the end of the year, a 106% increase since 2022, the report said. However, Trend Force has observed some delays in the actual deployment of N-type cell capacity. Given the existing price difference between NP-type wafers, PERC technology is anticipated to retain its leading position in the market this year although the penetration rate of top con cells will accelerate. Thank you for watching and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more future videos.